Hey guys, so we just did Bobby's. Uh, this will be for Eric. So Eric, good luck. Bobby pretty much saved from the flip cards. Westvale Abbey, Declaration in Stone. Those are probably the two more notable cards. I should really like be able to open these now, but I don't still have a really good, I guess it's for security reasons. I could definitely see this like happening Walmart when someone's trying to open it and they cannot. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Uh, this is probably a good pack. So good luck, Eric. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a really good pack. Okay, we slice it and there we go. So I'm filming this on a Tuesday. That means hopefully I'll get a video of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the stuff will be shipped out soon enough. All right, good luck, Eric. Obviously the big card here is Avison, but Avison is a mythic, so it's kind of hard to get Avison. But there's some other good, I forgot about Westvale Abbey. That card is pretty good and it's a, whenever you're looking at the value of a set, you don't go off by the mythics. Definitely not the mythics. You gotta go off the, the rares, cause just like fetch lands, they're much easier to get. In a whole box, you can at least get a few. So good luck, Eric. Always watching, which is seeing some play in a cursed witch. Always watching is pretty good in the, um, the green white deck, I like it a lot. I think it's pretty relevant. It's good in EDH as well. Oops, I just bumped into the camera. Dead weight is really good. It used to be uncommon, I believe. Dance with the Devil, Bound by Moonlight, and the Hydra. The Hydra is taking a plummet. This used to be a $10 card. Now it's, I think, a few dollars. It just did not see any play in the Pro Tour. It seemed like it would be a good card for ramp, but it was not. Oh, which reminds me, I really do need an update on my Liliana playmat. Game Trail, always good to get. Duskwatch Recruiter, one of, I think this uncommon is worth two or three dollars. Ooh, and Elusive Tormentor. So just like, uh, that was a, definitely the, that pack made back its money. Let's watch Recruiter, I believe it's the Chase Uncommon of this set. I thought it would be Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, but it is not. So Eric is doing, uh, he's not doing bad. That last pack definitely helped. Boy, Always Watching was pretty good too, and the Hydra, I guess it's a Mythic is a Mythic. Maybe one day the Hydra will go up in price a little bit. Groundskeeper. Uh, Port Town, which is okay. And I think this card is supposed to be like this, yeah. Aristocrat. So, Port Town. Lands are always good. I mean, they just kind of make back the value of the pack. Plus, they always go up after what the previous set rotates. They always go up. It's never been a case when they don't go up. Uh, confirm Suspicion. Lamb Hole Butcher. Is this the one that we need? Oh, Westvale Abbey. Wow, I am pulling Westvale Abbey's like crazy. Is this card the one I'm thinking of? Or is it Dusk Watch? I'm pretty sure Dusk Watch Recruiter is the most valuable in common. All right, I mean, uh, Eric, we are getting there. I think Eric is uh, pretty much set. He just needs a few more. Maybe one, maybe one more good pull. Because Westvale Abbey, Used to be $20. I'm not sure what it is right now. It saw all types of play in like all types of decks. And it's the real deal. Like uh, TITI -I is not the real deal right now, at least. Westvale Abbey is the real deal. So there you go. Let's see. Prior Hound. Gloom Widow. Ever After. Kindly Stranger. Okay, that was a bad pack. We were due for a bad pack. <laughs> Our packs have been, like, relatively speaking, the fact that we're opening packs, and opening packs means you're probably losing money. It's been pretty good. We got Always Watching, which I know sees play. Hydra, Land, Dust Recruiter, Land. Well, I know this was one pack. Wow, it's a pretty good pack.
Oh, and I see that we got Jace. Jace, Jace, Jace. Oh, and we got, wow, we are just knocking it out with these flip cards. I don't know what's going on. So obviously Jace is, uh, I think we got back to our value. I think we broke our value of that, uh, whatever. Uh, Jace sees no play at all, but that does not mean he will not see play. After all, he is a Jace. If there's something I know about Jace, is even the really bad Jaces, like Jace Architect, AOT, what, he was really bad. And I got him in $5, he spiked to 20, even with the impending reprint. So assuming they weren't gonna reprint him in the dual deck, that Jace could have spiked to $40 easy. Wow, this has been a really good pack. Scorn Poke Mentor, and Anguish I'm Making. So I was just hoping for an Anguish I'm Making, but uh, we obviously did that a little better than that. Uh, the Jace. So congrats, Eric. This was a relatively good fat pack, I would say. Warp landscape. I mean, we still have one pack left, so we could hit on something big, I guess. Tireless. Ooh, this card is big. This card is big. And I don't know what his value is right now, but I do know he's seeing play in Standard. And I do know he's one of the most highly traded cards. So, um... Eric, let's go over what you got. Always watching, Mythic Hydra, Land, Recruiter, Land, Anguish on Making, Westvale Abbey, Jace, and Tireless Tracker. Not bad, I would say. I would say this is a pretty good pack.